favorite pastimes happens to be writing letters. Growing up, I used to get new stationery kits and pens with my name on them because why not, right? Which is why I am all the more excited about the business our next guest has launched here in our area and beyond. Shannon Milliman with Remembrera is joining me live now. Shannon, when I read about what you had started, I literally got chills. This mm -hmm. is so great. This is a letter writing subscription service. Tell me how you got this idea and how it works. Well, I actually interviewed my grandpa to get his story documented, and he wouldn't have done it on his own. He was apprehensive, mm -hmm. didn't think he had much to say, but as I interviewed him in that one-on-one -on -one ex exchange, I found he did, and everyone does, and it gave me the seed of an idea to create something that made it easy for everybody to document their stories and to do it in a way that maybe is for an audience of one or special. Oh, I love that. I love, and again, we, I love that it's an audience of one. You could write letters to yourself. There are mm -hmm. also kind of different prompts for writing to other people. Kind of walk me through without giving too much away, I guess, exactly how this service works and what those categories are. Yeah, it's a year subscription. Once a week, you get a prompt, and it has a special question that helps guide what what you write about that week. Over the course of a year, you will have written a whole bunch, but it takes it one bite at a time. So by the end of the year, you've written 12 legacy letters and the service will print it on archival, fancy luxury paper and envelopes. Oh, fabulous. Right, even I'm a wax we have seal. That. Some people, their penmanship, <laughs> mine included, my penmanship's Ditto. a little wonky. I don't know how we lost that art. Like I, I look know. at my grandmother's handwriting, I'm like, this is stunning. And then mine's like not cursive, but not print, <laughs> like some random mix in between. So grateful that you've got that. And again, you can do letters um, to, to a child. You can do letters mm -hmm. to newlyweds, right? What are kind of some of these categories and the different prompts? Yes, additionally, a uh, pregnant mom or a young parent being able to write letters to their child that you can later give to them on their 18th birthday or when they learn to ride a bike. Um, also, do letters to yourself during times of change or transition yeah. to reflect and who knows what else might come next. So that is so exciting. <laughs> Shannon, again, I'm loving this. I love too that you've included letters to yourself. I remember I was at camp one year and <laughs> we wrote a letter to ourselves like for the end of the yeah, summer. It's impactful. Nobody can talk to you like yourself. You know, I was reading <laughs> that and I was like, this is good. And I was like, cause it was like my own pep talk. And I was like, I just knew the things to say to myself. And so I love that you created this. And Shannon, I think I love even more just to get this idea, which I said it before the break, it's kind of a lost art, right? It I mean, is. Sitting down, yeah. taking the time to say the things that we need to say, that can be hard. Yeah. We have good intentions. We want to do it, but we don't get around to doing yeah. it. And this kind of bridges that. It's easy to just type for most of us and mm -hmm. um, that is the hard part and I take away the hardest part which is like printing it and actually submitting it yeah. and, and giving it and you can do the thoughtful, easy part that you care about that loved one and get it done. Yeah, and I think the prompts really helped in that too because I think sometimes people, you know, when we just say sit down and share your story, they're like, well, what story? Well, what do you want to know? <laughs> like, well, where do I start, right? Or even sometimes too, you know, we have so much love for someone, we don't even know what to say. And so the prompts can kind of help guide those specific memories uh, and really just kind of help hone that in, Shannon. Again, we're loving this. Your biggest goal <laughs> in all of this, I mean, again, we know that this is a subscription that you're really hoping to, to take the country with. What do you hope people really want Walk away knowing and learning through Remembrera. I deeply hope we can remember that every worthy soul deserves to be remembered yeah. and we can do it one easy prompt at a time. Oh, I love that. Shannon, again, I'm loving this. When I first read your email, I was like, wait, this is good. We've got to get this girl on the show. So thank you again so much for coming. <laughs> Big question now, where can we learn more? We want to sign up. Everybody that wants a subscription, how can they make it happen? Remembrera.com and you can click on the buy now or four month free trial or four week free trial. Oh, so check it out, no strings attached. Once a week you'll get a prompt for four weeks and you kind of see that flavor of it and feel how that fits into your life and find how easy and seamless and beautiful an experience it can be. I'm loving it, Shannon. Again, huge congratulations to you for starting this up. I love, some of my favorite interviews are just with entre entrepreneurs who have <laughs> thought of this idea and made it happen. So congratulations to you. We know a lot of lives gonna be touched in the process. So thank you so much. Congrats. Thanks, I'm honored.